Chinese whispers of the biggest cash game in London have sent the poker fraternity into a frenzy. Now, you have exclusive access into the poker den to see the 24-hour game with mountains of money at stake. Street is something big's going down in London town tonight. A serious car game hit in the East End. It's not very Vegas, but it's very real. In your face, up front, lively. It's private, big boys only. No room for muffins. You need deep pockets for this one. We ain't playing for tiddlywinks and these faces don't muck around. There's gonna be plenty of dough flying about. Biggest loser so far, Casey Thompson, 65,000 lighter. He hasn't been a devil fish this night either. He goes back to Hulk, 60 grand lighter. Roland will be back after his game of Chinese poker. He's down 35k. Jamie Gold, down 30k, is in the queue to get back in. The game's on for 24 hours straight. We're halfway through and the den don't close till the time's up. This spicy meatball plays a tasty game of poker. The Italian pirate has a World Series bracelet to flash. It's Max Pescatore. That's the cash over. Hallelujah. Jesus is in the building. A poker god. He's a silent type of the table, but well deadly. Chris Jesus Ferguson. This poker writer is hoping to show his brains at the table. And he's right at home in this East End spieler. It's Neil Bad Beak Shannon. This guy's been there, bought a t-shirt and sold it at a profit. Loves to talk the talk. If you can get a word in edgeways, you've done better than most. Tony G. This geezer ain't scared to put his boot on where his mouth is. This is his patch and he won't take too kindly of being robbed on his own doorstep. It's Ian, the Razor Fraser. Yee-haw. A cowboy in the East End of London. Oi Hawkins has made millions in Vegas and now he's ridden in the town to round up the other players' cash. This Yank's personality is as big as his bankroll. Big name, big cake hole. It's about to get very loud. It's Robert Williamson III. This geezer is part of a poker dynasty. Son of legendary poker player Doyle Brunson. Todd has made his own name in the biggest cash games in Vegas. One serious player. Wads of nose have been changed up the chips. The green ones are worth $25. The blues are 50 bucks. And the black chips, well, they're worth $100. Into the big bucks. The yellows are 1,000. And the orange are 5,000. Tony G, still the big winner here. He's, he's, he's nearly the only winner here. He's won so much, and everybody wants to nibble away at his stack. Good luck to them. Get the action going. No qualifier. Yeah, there you go. Jesus, you guys are putting an awful lot of conditions on this. Let's play Reyes. This pisses me off hearing about it. Four hundred guys. Give away that twenty-four hundred. It's locked up over there in Italy. Never see it again. <laughs> Yes. Yet yeah, another hand, Jesse. Ice coin is suited. You know, the, the, the funny thing is, he must actually be hating this. I mean, he's just saying to himself, you know, like you say, a couple hours ago, and those hands would have been worth 50000 But the thing is, I mean, if you put yourself in the position of the other players at the table, they can't put him on the hand. And look at that bingo flop. Yeah, Channing's at the set. Top pair, top kicker for Williamson the third, and uh, Channing's going to double up here. Is he? Well, he should do. 16. We've seen some bad breaks today, though. He's got a just call here. The interesting thing is, um, Williamson the third has already shown a propensity to, to overplay these oh. kind of hands, but you're right. I like that. I like that. And the money's going in on the turn. Check Just, raise. Oh, it depends on Williamson here. Channy's got, oh, wow. Well, the money's going Check. in now for sure. 
25. 25. Uh, he's got some ice on top. <laughs> big, big rise coming up there, Jesse. Neil's gone when he wants him. I don't know what he's got left, but it would be a big rise. Well, I mean, Williams has just got cold act here. There's not a player in the world gets off this, yeah, is Yeah, but there? he's still got outs. And look, he's putting the act on here, Chan, in his. Let's huff and puff, let's check the stack, and let's push it all in. What's he got left, Jesse? I just wonder if... What's Channing got in front of him? Well, he's, he started, he's got about 20 grand, so he'll yeah. have about 18 there. I mean... Uh, well, he's got, he's got... I would say he's got a rise because he can't check the river. 6,000. 6,000 is also. Cool. Ooh. Well, Williams has done well to call this. I mean, he, he must realize that Channing's got a tight image. Yeah, but... He knows he, there's a couple of hands that can beat him. Yeah, mm -hmm. but he thinks he's got a coin in and he's out kicked. That's what he's thinking. He still thinks he's got the best hand. And now he's pretty sure he's got the best hand. But see, Chan in here's got a pot of value, Ben. He's got a bit like eight or 9,000. Try and get a call. Or induce a bluff. I'm all in. All in. How much is it? Uh, That's a lot. And the change. Well, it's 16 in the pot, so let's see how much it is. First. It's 13. It's oh, a big he's bet. Got a call. He's got a call. He's got no choice. He's going to say to himself, self now, you know, what can I be losing to? What can 12, I be? 12 in the blue and green. And the simple fact is, the guy makes this move with, you know, a coin rag as well. And if he's unlucky to run into a full house, then tough luck. That's how it is. He's not folding here. 13 and chain. He was just saying earlier. He was just saying earlier that Channing, three. he knows he's a tight player. Yeah, but Channing makes this move <laughs> with coin jack or king queen. Nice holds a good hand. I mean, you just can't fold three queens here. Oh, I've, I've, oh, not with the top kick, guys, you know. So I can't sickening. Fold. I almost has to check the turn and saved all that money. Mm. Well, so sickening. I think, he, I think he's, he's serious. talking like he's going to fold, but how can he? How much? 13,000. An amazing fold. Well, there's 29,000 so in the pot. How can you possibly fold? Top, you know, top set with top kicker, right. I mean. Take a better man than me. Oh, I couldn't pass this. He doesn't you like it, but he's got a call. You promise to put it back in action if I, if I pay you off? <laughs> I can't you, promise, you have to yeah. promise to put the 200 on promise, it and gamble yeah. and... I can't promise that. That's what I'm afraid of. Shannon's doing well here talking uh, like that. Wow. i got bills to pay. That's terrible. I'm against... I'm against so he's school. acting tough now to look oh, weak. Wow. If you know what I mean, Jesse. It's a big lay down. I hear you. He's thinking about it. Yeah, he's trying right, to look nervous. Look. This was Tony G. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Tony. Nothing personal. It's a cold deck. He's got a cool. Jeez, now you know they're playing for real. Money is a quicker. What can you wow. do? I get the money in quick. You said you wanted action. We all can't be as good as you. I don't think <laughs> so. Wanted action. Now you want to play the nuts. That's not action. Yeah. It's a cash game. You know what I mean? These guys are going to give him all the time he needs to make up his mind. Yeah, but the thing is, he can't yeah, almost took the turn, and I could have smooth called the river, and I looked like a mm -hmm. really smart guy here. What he's doing, he's talking to talk to, to cover <laughs> himself. He can't. You fold. won't believe this. You can. I mean, the longer time he takes, Jesse, the more chance he's got of folding. But how ah, can he? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Make sure I'm not saying oh. anything wrong. Here. What what hands can he beat? You're thinking Queen Jack, Queen King, huh? I'm I'm thinking Williamson must be sitting there thinking he's running to, you know, another coin here. I mean if he's got unlucky and he's running to, you know, a pair of fours or a pair of nines, and that's poker, <laughs> tough luck. You cannot fold for thirteen thousand or twenty nine th twenty nine thousand pop with that hand. This you know, how can you? You shouldn't be playing poker if you're doing that. But it would be right to fold, obviously, yeah. so so tight. Convinced. I'm affirmed 100%. I never, I'm a non believer. I'm from Missouri. They show me state. <laughs> I really am. I'm a non believer. But I believe for the first time. Oh, I'm wow. a non believer. Wow. I never believe. Gotta be a class laid out. Uh oh. Time's up. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> no, I mean, it's in, 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 in this game, man, yeah, I, I don't think they are gonna put the clock on. I, I, I don't, you know, this, you know, this is this is for real money. I would never take this long, guys. Yeah, I agree. I have uh, this has got a decision to make, but ultimately the pot odds will uh, decide it. He's got to call. That's how sick this is. It's sick. Honest to God, I'm calling out his exact hand. It's as if I am. 
below him right now. It's Go on, impress <laughs> me. Go on, tell me. He said nine's, nine's full. He said he'd say nine. I think she's up against nine's full. I mean, you have to go with your gut. I think I'm beat. <laughs> That's impressive. All right. You can't fold well, still. One other winner tonight. No one's going to see it. You can't sleep. No one's going to see it at home. They won't show this in America. They won't know. Yeah, they're going to show this hand, I assure you. I've, I've got news for you. <laughs> He's impressed I mean, me if he lays this hand. If he lays this down, I'll shake this hand while we go out on break. But I can't eat Jesse. It's 29,000 in the middle so already. Sorry. I never take this long play again. Oh. Never. Take your time. I mean, can you imagine? I mean, he could beat so many other hands. Rub it, you? I am so convinced this one time. I'm such a non-believer. I never believe. I never believe. Let me just make sure I got what I think I have. It's insane. I'm never, never, ever, ever believer. Just, just pay off king. I'm the pay off king. Jesse, what's he going to do? And just go home with a clear conscience. The end of the day, he's, he knows he's going to find out. Yeah. So he's going to fold. I think he's going to fold. This is either the best planned bluff ever. I don't know, you see. What Even if that? he thinks he's behind, Elva. I think he's got a save. Nice oh, save. he's folded. I can't. That is world class. I don't want to show any. I can see on TV. A lot of hands that weren't I mean, bluff. you got to give him credit. You have Not to give. You know, this guy Neil Channing has won the pot, but Robert yeah. Williamson. What? I mean, that's unbelievable. That, I mean, yeah, let me explain to you the value of that fold, Jesse. He's folded for thirteen thousand into a twenty-nine thousand pot. And he's got top set and top kick out. I, I, I got news what the effect is. Channing's going to cash out. <laughs> he, I mean, oh Channing's, Channing's, Channing's got it. That is, that is. I, I cannot believe that fold, Jesse. I've seen nothing like that. This is a cash game. I mean, this guy, for him to fold that hand, must have, you know, he must have been 99.9% sure. I come back and I like got freaking steam he's, he's going to find. He's going to find out if he was right. He's not going to play one more hand in this game before he finds out what Channing is. And you know what? When he finds out that he's made the best lay down that we've seen today by a mile, and he's going to come back buzzing and get it all back. <laughs> I'm just fixing all the bathroom. You're guessing your hands. Oh no, 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 nothing like that. Well, maybe I did. I forget. It was hours ago. Hours ago. Probably the first decent stake cash game I played in, I was eight years old, uh, playing against all adults, and it was a little intimidating the first time. I, I broke about even. I, I think I actually had a small win, but it was definitely, uh, it was tough, you know, when you're just a kid, uh, you can win or lose a few thousand dollars. It, it seemed like uh, more like cars and houses back then, and the funny part is, nowadays we do play for cars and houses. High noon, 12 I hours say. played tonight, I I mean, and we're I halfway knew, through. Mighty well, no. young, mighty young. <laughs> okay, well, that's the <laughs> honest. That was, at least it was a little a tiny moment of honesty. I heard they kicked out all the hustlers from that place. Raised to 300 total. They kicked oh. out Ralph Perry. Now, Fraser's <laughs> never <laughs> folded here. Yeah. Cool. Just ride his bike around. <laughs> <laughs> get out of here, right? Get on your bike and get it's out of here. It's bike time. <laughs> yeah, Someone's going to have to bring in the bottle to spray Hoyt, where he's freezing up, where he's not doing nothing. He's picking up some cards. Is what we he's doing. Hands, picking Rob. up yeah. some cards. Yeah. He's got to oh, lose his front one. Get on the front page. How much was the rise, Jesse? It's a thousand more, and I mean, Fraser's is cool in there with six seven. He knows he could bust the big hand. And Tony's cool. Nine six seven. It tastes like one. Very well disguised hands here. Hey, listen, I still love my wife, no matter what happens. We're seeing what Williamson's capable of folding here. He's losing to two hands. Cool. You know, this queen's, and it's great right now, but you know, it's very fragile on the oh, flop, yeah, right? Open like cards come, card. I mean. Eight cards uh, kill him, and the way Ian's just done that, he's took his timer up. Just, just took his time so he could try and, uh, oh, yeah. Wow. He's going to oh. throttle Tony G right now. Check. Oh. Check. That's a good size pot, yeah. 1,500. That's a good oh. bit. 
the best pass. way to disguise your hand, come out and bet it. Yeah, and, and Tony's done he's done kind of well just to call here. If it comes to heart, I wonder. Yeah, Tony's not silly. He knows he's not beating nothing unless he is. Picked up another little bit of a draw there, hasn't he? Check. Got a little bit of a strike draw now. Yeah, he has. 9,975 in there. He's got out, so it all depends how big this bet is. This is usually where I say how much have you got. <laughs> he's got a lot more than me. Lots more than you, mate. See, Williamson knows he's on a draw, I feel. So he's got to outprice him here, make it too expensive for him to call, or just wipe his mouth and let him have a free draw. If he thinks Tony's going to call no matter what he bets, then he might as well just wait and see the river, you know, to be sure. Go math, Tony, just give me a minute. I mean, Tony's got ten outs here. He's got plenty of outs, he's but... Got seven hearts and... Williamson knows, I think he puts him in some 15, form of draw. Fifteen thousand. And look at the over 15, bet. Fifteen thousand. Fantastic bet. Now he's priced him out of it. He says you can't call that. And Tony can't. <laughs> well, as many outs as he's got, he cannot call 15,000 for 10,000 pot. He's too good for that. <laughs> you see this, Jesse? Honestly, it's a perfect Ready? example here. This, this is a good player playing. The pot's 10,000, it's under 10,000. He's bet 15 to stop the draw. Fantastic play. I didn't like cats in my neighborhood. No one's going to pay them now. This is a 24-hour cash game. All so players buying in for between ten and twenty thousand dollars. They can top up and they can rebuy if they lose their money. Well, I just, I just want to know the future of poker news. I'm, I'm afraid for us now. Cool. Don't be afraid. Pass. Oh, I should still be very. All right. You should be comfortable. Well, I want people to break even at least. I mean, they can't cover us profitably. Cool. Uh, that's a problem. Yeah, it's, it's more yeah. of a service, actually, what we did. They're nice. talking so poker politics at the moment, even, Jesse. Uh, mm. to Much more important than real-life issues. Yeah. Impossible. Well, it's just limped in with the deuce three off suit here. You lose. You so, lose. So why would you do it? Branding. It's just branding. Long term, it's worth something, maybe. The bluff paid three million just for branding. They lost a fortune. Wow. Bottom two. Check. Wow. Yeah, but Six Robert's going to have to play this very strong now. Because he knows that he can get outdrawn very, very easily here. Yeah. The turn and river pair up. He's, um, he's going to have to try and take it down now. And he will hate that call. Pass. I think Bluff just wanted to spend money. He's trying to just throw the fives away. Flag called me! What's it going to cost me, Max? They do. It's not going to cost you no more, because whatever this is, you're going to check. And there you go, this is what usually happens. Check. Card player's making a lot of money, though. I just wanted to make, more, they make money every quarter. There's no point Max checking this here. I mean, he might as well put a small bet out now. Look at if Pescatori raises the flop. He's out. He's he's getting taken off the hand by Williamson. It's uh, just how things go. And now he's trying to convince Robert that the three is induced, that the three is good. Yeah, but he's not going to put a dollar in this now. Check. Just check behind us, eh? I own a piece of card player. He's trying to convince Robert he's going to have a flush draw, isn't he? That's, yeah, but that's the thing busted. is, he's going to say, he's going to say, what can Robert call me with? And you know, that's and honestly, there's not an awful lot he could call with. He could just throw this away now. Pop two pair. Now I have two pair. There Five. you go. And he's paid it off. It's a Let's <laughs> 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 get the label off me real quick. <laughs> well, Chris is shaking his head because, like he said, I flopped two pair. Now, they know he's not lying, but they also can read that board. Mm. It has to be the deuce three. That's right. It has to be the deuce three. Known as the Italian pirate on account of his flag bandana. Max Pescatore has made a treasure chest of cash from poker. Stamina is not going to be a factor for me. And actually that's one of the things that when, when you see me going to the final table on a long tournament and then, and then actually maybe coming out, you'll see the other players, I'll, I'll be one of the more relaxed. And also I prepare, you know, I got here a little bit late and uh, took a nap so I could be relaxed at the end of the night. I mean, the other people are going to be tired. And, Take their money. 
<laughs> it is Greek fish, what they call the long haul. Yeah, like 24 game. hour cash game. And I mean, it's 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 what you call real poker. I mean, stamina is such a factor here. Yeah, players all over the world do this. I mean, they're used to it. They go to the casinos, they're sitting there all night, and then that's a private game after that. I mean, this is for the dedicated poker players only. I mean, and what it comes down to, you know, you say everybody's playing good poker. It's a tough old game, but sooner or later somebody yeah, slips up and makes one mistake and just do your money. Don't yeah, that's that's all it takes, just the one mistake now. And, um, you know, fatigue comes into it at this point. I mean, where they've been sitting here for hours, I mean, I mean, you've got to remember some of these players have been up from the night before. Well, I won't do that anymore. <laughs> this is a tournament move that Corkins has made here. There's There's been a 50 straddle, a, excuse me, a 100 straddle, 200 straddle. I think Fraser might have made it 400. And Corkins has come all in for about five grand. Well, he's obviously had uh, a few words of wisdom in the break there because uh, he's come out and made this move. Cool. Oh, well, he's been he, called. Well, he's going to have to. I mean, Ace 8 is no good. <laughs> I mean, if he and. Oh, my gosh, it is good. It's a. It, how surprised is Corkin's going to be? Yeah, the Ace 8's ahead. I mean, Fraser's read this right. I mean, he put him on nothing. No, really I you know, he must have thought he had a small no, pair of Middleish power. And he was in a race. <laughs> but as it turns <laughs> out, he's in the. Corkin's in good shape. I've got news for you. Hoyt Corkin's is the most surprised guy in the house now, but he's now got to survive five cards. <laughs> well, we were going back to saying about one mistake. Oh, oh that's Fraser's right. gotten out. He's got out. Any yeah. yeah. king, queen, or jack here for the straight? <laughs> I don't want the. Uh, I want the deuce. Jack for the straight, or the king or the queen. Any fine. There's all of a sudden that eleven thousand pot. Yeah, I mean Fraser still likes his hand, yeah. We don't like it now. Oh, they still like it because it's going to hit the river. This is Mr. Fraser. It's Fraser, the East End against the Alabama Slammer. Plenty of outs, and he's missed them. And there's a big double oh, up there man. for Colkin. <laughs> he's, he's actually ahead in this game. Well, he, you know, he, he drew his line in the, the sand there. He thought there was some easy blinds to pick up, and he got lucky. Well, with the best hand sign that. But he's no idiot, you know, he's coming to play. And I said, give him another card. Of course, he's representing Dawes Room here, and he's doing a good job of it so far. You just get the feeling that all of a sudden Hoyt Corkins thought he was in a tournament. Sometimes that's what it takes, Jesse, you know. It's the fatigue setting in now. He's ready to 5,000. Well, you've got to remember, these are no spring chickens, you know, they're not in their early 20s. I mean, the fatigue sets in after a few hours. And, um, <laughs> let's make his own arrangements. Let's gamble, he says. And you know what? Uh, he's ready to gamble now, is Hoyt. Yeah, but I mean, what this will do, I'll say now, Ian's going to draw his line now. He's, he's not going to have none of this. I mean, it's a really lively the game up now. Absolutely. I mean, he's smiling, but I mean, you know as well as I do, Ian's got loads and loads of moves. And, and now all of a sudden, wow. See, Hoyt's picked up a hand. And, uh, well, Hoyt is going to be loving this. The poker gods were all in his patience. And uh, this game's nose has opened up wide. Pass. What did they have in their tea in that break, Jesse? Yeah. A couple hundred on Fraser. You know he's going to play. Yeah. He's got yeah. a live ace. Oh, no. Well, he don't know that, but it is live. No, I mean, I would say Fraser would know that to be calling. No, he thought he was up a bigger against the bigger ace. He wanted to play there. Oh, lovely. Well, Fraser's flop top pair here, Jesse. It is. <laughs> and it's a horrible flop for Hoyt. You might be beating expectation. Your but expectation the man in full has come out betting be Williamson with a pair of twos. You might be like cool. doing better than people thought. Just you a call by Ian. Expectation minus seven thousand. <sighs> You'd have to be very optimistic. Well, square one. <laughs> <laughs> the nice <laughs> <as I'm laughs> now, I mean, that's about as bad as it gets for a pair of coins. You know, an ice king flop. I got a bet to call. I mean, yeah, he's, he knows he's behind. Then he makes a good lie down. Yeah. Well, Williamson is a bit small trying to get a free card. You know, not a pound's going in now. And Fraser's just going to take him off this with a two and a half thousand, three thousand belt, I would say. I don't want to hear what you'd go Well, he's checked also. And the ball just gets worse and worse for him. You know, another club on the board is a flush draw now. He's got a king and he was betting a king on the flop and he's behind. He's representing the king here. Now, this is not an easy call here. In it fact, it's passed. Yeah. Well, Fraser's had to pass, hasn't he? Well, I mean, this is all from that weak bet on the flop. I mean, 
Fraser's has turned around saying he ain't got an ace because he's never going to bet so weak. So he's put, obviously put him on a king and it's just got worse to ball. I gave him a BJ. I mean, if you're sitting in Fraser's seat, you're in Fraser's seat there, you know, you can see why he's folded that. He's ahead 30 grand as RW3. 24 hours this cash game lasts for and you just keep playing until your bankroll or your brain can't take no more. Some major faces on the table. This is the toughest cash game going. Back for more after this. You've convinced me maybe you weren't Players bluffing. have been here 13 hours. Some of them didn't have beards. If you keep asking for money. <laughs> Still amazed at the way Todd's playing because he's such a good player in these cash games. I mean... He's played for a lot higher stakes also, and um, he's playing very timidly today. The ones that raise never get it. Max uh, found a pair of nine shots. So. You know, I, I mean, I, I think Todd's the kind of guy where he's, he's he, if, it, if it takes 12 hours, he'll sit here for 12 hours, you know what I mean? Yeah, but I tell you, I, I, you won't want to see Todd until, I mean, Todd could really, really play. I, I tell you, the people watching this at home haven't seen anything yet. He hasn't done nothing yet. This is interesting, yeah. Uh, Tony yeah, G's sure. got a, just a slightly better oh, pair than Pescatori, but he's respecting he this raise. And, and, yeah, but the thing is, is there's, there's no good flop without a 9 and a 10 for either of them, because, you know, surely an overcard's going to come. I think uh, the aggressor should win the pot. And Robert's mixing it up here with a king six. It is suited by you, Jess. But in a six, and maybe... And maybe king only if you're a full-time pro, though. Oh, dear, there's two of them. Oh dear. It'd be well, Tony's flopped to sit here, but there is a flush draw out, so he's going to have to put some form of bet out. A thousand. I just told him to build it up from zero. Like yeah, I like that bet. Yeah, yeah. That's what that girl. Yeah, yeah. Well, the odds of flopping a flush are massive, but I mean, you know, two people could have. Uh, Oh, I, th I heard the start. Have two hearts in their hand. From what I understand, I was put 100 on originally. That's that's my understanding. <laughs> <laughs> Great flop for Max. <laughs> just get away from it now. And no problem. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. it's a very dry I'm board out there. Now, is Tony going to be better trying to check this or trying to get paid no, here on the Tony's turn? Tony's going to have to bet this. Oh, no, no, they could check. He could give a free card now. Tony checks. Brothers. Brothers, mm. brothers, brothers, check, brothers. check. The reason being, he's trying to keep the pot relatively small at this stage because he knows if the two comes, then he's in big trouble. He's going to put the guy on the king anyway. And now he's confident he's winning. He's just going to put a little bet out to get paid. 35. I still write them. Just underneath the size of the pot. And um, in honesty, you know, that's how you can fold it. But I said that last time. Well, Tony is a much different type of player than Neil Channing. I mean, uh, Williamson knows Tony's capable of trickery. That's right. And um, to be honest, what is he losing to? That's what he's got to look at. And he's sitting there. He's got a king. If he's up against the flush or a bigger king, then good luck to the guy for three and a half thousand. You've got a call. It's hard. It's hard. This one's got a poker lesson. And if that's no, the no, case... No, 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 no. If you can make, you make sense you out of my corona... If you thought no good on the turn, why call? You have a poker lesson. Oh, on the flop, I should say, why call? Oh, it's so painful. <coughs> you don't want to do the wrong thing, and you don't want to... Ace jacks? Yeah, but we're getting used to this scenario now. Promise, rebate. You give me a rebate if Ace jacks not good. I don't give any promises. I'm just no, saying no, no, it's good. No, 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 no. If I mean, Ace jack good. is good, I just want a rebate. It looks promising. Like, give me, like, give me 2,000 back if Ace jack is good. That's all I'm asking. Give me a rebate. If Ace Jack wins or what? If Ace Jack or better is good, <laughs> right? And I don't have it, and I lose the pot. Give me a rebate. That's all I want. Is a little rebate. Can you repeat it again? <laughs> <laughs> it's fairly <laughs> convoluted, <laughs> but Tony, so keep quite some. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, no matter what I have, <laughs> back something up. I like a rebate, a small rebate program. I'm fixing to pay you off with a hand you won't believe I even called with. Are you doing Tell me what what rebate is this Bill Helmer's brother or what? Huh? Listen, they send these flyers in the middle to me all the time. They can get 100 back, 100 back. Spend 200, get 100 free. All right, listen. <laughs> listen. Yeah, I'm listening. If you call, what do you want to call? Do you want to call the pot, right? Well, I might want to raise. I'm going to reserve the right. <laughs> oh, I want to reserve the right no, to call or raise. No. I was going okay, to give no. you a rebate. Okay, hold on. Call only. That's fine. Okay, good. Now we're talking. Okay. 
So if you call, how much rebate do you want if you lose? How much rebate do I need? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I need to know a little, little bit. How about this? I'll give you a thousand dollar rebate. If you call and lose, I'll give you a thousand dollar rebate. A thousand out of that main pot? A thousand I from what you call with. Well, no, I don't want any. This is dead money. I want a thousand out there. Okay, you can have a thousand out of that pot. Shit, I was afraid you'd say that. <laughs> Whatever you want. <laughs> wow, you almost got a call here. How much is it? 34? 35? 35. There's just no way he's full. Yeah, I mean, this is Tony G. I mean, this is Tony G. Yeah, but he's breathing. Make it 2,000 you make it cheap. He's breathing a closer probably, Williamson. You can't go any further. If you're a, well, you're a cheap 500. No, no, a cheap 500. That's the you saw me lay down Ace 10 earlier. I can lay down another Ace 10. <laughs> that's I'll tell end. you what, they. I can lay down. I can lay down another Ace 10 here. That's the end. They, they should send Williamson into a war zone to negotiate. Oh yeah, it'd be brilliant at that. He got to be impressive. I mean, he knows he's up against something. Yeah, what's it worth? Right? I'll tell you what. The floor manager is finding this very interesting. Jesse's smiling away in the background. You can't raise the floor manager. Well, you haven't agreed anything, so I can do what I need to do, right? Is that fair now? He's very clever. Well, I'd be a complete asshole if I raise now. I just need to know one question: Would I be a complete asshole if I raise now? Yes. What you do now isn't going to change the Or fact. a partial asshole. He was Would trying to get right winner, I yeah, just need a just... quick answer in two words. Yes, I said yes. Yes, sir. I'd be a complete asshole if I would be. No, you'll be a slow asshole. Fraser had to get involved there, didn't I? I'm worried the Roland's out there and the pizzas are on. All right. Pass. And I was He's really on the it. edge. Oh. On, when you watch the film, oh. you'll see that was... We're, We're going to have to drug test this guy when he comes out of here, Jesse. I, I, I got I news for you. In, in all that confabulation, Williamson got some kind of read. Now, I yeah. understand That's that what he was trying to do. He sees the hands, so you understand that I had something. And Tony, she's thinking about this. What did I do wrong? I, it's twice I thought he was calling. It might happen two or three times done. more, but it only would have happened twice total if I hadn't had this much to drink. <laughs> <laughs> well, we thought Roland and Casey were taking a break, but only from the main game. They've gone Asian, Chinese poker on tap, and Pam Brunson there, Greek fish. She's not just a spectator. She's itching to get in and out play. Show these boys how to play. I bet she is. Two, four, six, eight. Hut, hut. I bet much better than that. All right. You had better hand? Thank you very much. Really? Thank you. Much better. Doesn't matter. Cool. That's interesting that Hoyt wants to play the ice for an early position here with just a call. Two and Max is looking, King 10, live cards. Oh. And Ferguson doesn't care, <laughs> he's throwing them away, Jess. <laughs> Pass. Hey. Back up in the chat one more time. No <laughs> Not with this garbage. Multi ways here. What's anyway. Ian Fraser got here? I don't know. Garbage, he said. Yeah, that's what yeah, makes me think he's probably, probably got something decent. Yeah, you got me, guys. That's hit. Who's that? Hit Tony hey, G hey. there. Yeah. Pair of jacks. Yeah. Anyone got any diamonds here? No that's diamonds. <laughs> set. Bottom set. Well, I'll never say that. I should have known, shouldn't I? W3 to make the set. And this time, Tony's behind, and now he's called the uh, the Williamson raise. Oh, oh days, my quads. Oh, yes. 23. 2,300. <laughs> Tell you what, if it comes to Jack, it's going to oh. be ugly. Oh, I oh, don't even say that. I can't. This ain't internet poker. Tony's taking a particular kind of opinion here. I mean, 63. He's called two bets already. I mean, if he was convinced he was ahead on the turn. Well, if he's convinced he's ahead on the turn, he thinks he's ahead now still. But let's be honest with you, the way he's played this, very, very strong Williamson. 83. Sorry, I'm greedy. A poor wife like Tony just took an opinion there. And you know, it, when he when he had Williamson beat, more. he folded to the bet. This time he just decided he was going to call him. And um, wow. Thank you. Tony must be a little tired. He's, he's not in his game all of a sudden. 
That was a big old. That was 10, 10 grand he just dropped. Yeah, yeah. That play quad's good. Four of a kind, four ducks on the pond for RW. He's uh, now all of a sudden starting to look like a big winner here. Tony down to only 75,000 up. Only 75,000. Well, looks very, very interesting. Tony G's keeping out of Robert's way, yeah? I'm sure we can work it out. You can't take my blind. Looks like Tony G oh, decided to I'm take a little break no. here. I no, can't no, say no. I blame him, you know? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you know he's he's no, been, no. of all the players at this table, he's been sitting there the longest. The same yeah, he's, he's also, uh, he's grinded it out. And he's lost 20,000 at this uh, last hour or two. And he's gonna go and freshen up. Go and wash his face and have deal. a cup of coffee and uh, try and wind down a bit. Yeah, I mean, he also knows sleeping ain't a bad thing right now. You know, six, seven hours from now, guys like uh, Roland are going to be back in the game. Phil Curtis. I mean, uh, you know, this is Jamie Gold. There's going to be plenty more action to come, you know. Yeah, let, let these guys play. I'll definitely be out there as well if uh, all the boys start the game again. I would never have paid that off. Thinking about going back to what you said about Tony, he's like been playing for 10 hours straight now, hasn't I was he? Really, yeah, still he was. really close. I was on the fence. Yeah, it was like... I feel bad. <laughs> I was afraid my wife would leave me if I uh, called you. Oh, she would. She hates them. A little bit of reward there for Tony. He's hit his okay. king. And there is a draw out there for Channing. <laughs> and he's going to try and see it cheap. Cool. Uh, this is a uh, interesting well, call from Max. What? You know, Tony's going to take notice of this call. I mean, I mean Max is uh, not throwing money away. Oh, I just knew that was going to happen. Max is it. He's set now. But the problem Max has got, Tony's too good there. Well, it's a small bet. Cool. What, this is Tony's, a very small bet. This, this is Tony's last hand for sure. Yes, yeah, Tony will call this off and, um, and he's out the door on yep. He's going to see these three fours and say, you know what, boys, I'll see you later. Hey, can you loan me it is not my time. With you? I hope I'm never there. How long you could happen though. I'm sick of it. When you so that's the beauty of Max's bet. You know, he bet that. small and um, he stopped oh, tiny betting. Well, my not and then he caught his card. Oh, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he just looks tired right now, when Tony. He just Thanks, Tuesday. He knows he knows the worm has turned. Yeah. My wife's gonna leave me next What's Monday if I'm not back in America. So How most likely I'm gonna be home so by Monday. Pescatory got four thousand into a pot of thirty eight fifty. He's 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 going whole hog here, isn't he? Yeah. 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 He's he's he's, 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 he's trying to make that over bet look weak. That's exactly what he's trying to do, but I think it's gonna work. Can I say Monday? Uh, I mean, if Tony G thinks he's Tyson winning from the start, then he still thinks he's winning now. But you've got a four. Yeah. You've got a four. Did you hear him? Yeah. He's well classed, yeah, this guy. I mean, Tony's got a lot of mouth, but I mean, he's all the table to pieces. But I mean, he's a great, great player. He's been playing 10 hours. He's looking tired, but you know what? He ain't going to give Pescatore okay. 4,000. No, and he's absolute Good class. On your bike. Thanks for stopping by. We'll well done, Tony. See you soon. Well done, Tony. That is really? it, gentlemen, he says. I'll see you soon. I had the door on my bike. I hope my board. bike's ready. It's yeah. bicycle time. <laughs> yeah, Tony, Tony's been said, brilliant, hasn't he? You said last hand. I had a king. Yeah. You said you last hand. Right. Right. No, at the moment, he's it's it's not alive. He's on. not off the to put that stride on. It's amazing. I mean, I made a prediction. You know, I really wanted to bust Roland and Jamie Gold and send them both back on their bikes. It's incredible. But I mean, a bit fortunate. I mean, played a few big pots. Very fortunate early on, but I definitely destroyed that table today. Two players stepped out of the poker den. Tim Fraser has left the building with a loss of over eight thousand dollars. An American, Hoyt Corkins, is taking a timeout with a loss of two hundred and fifty. Oi, oi, there's a bird in a poker den. From the family dynasty of Brunson's, she'll love nothing more than to take the boys' trousers down and have all their cash tonight. This kid looks like he's not even out of nappies yet. His mum might have packed his lunchbox, but don't be fooled by that baby face. 30 grand down. Gold has a bling every poker player wants. A World Series bracelet and with it the $12 million in his sky rockets. 
just, I'll just put it on there. Well, we've managed to drag Roland away from his Chinese poker. Roland, I will not a, eat your green up. eggs and up. ham. This uh, game's still on fire past the halfway mark. No sneak peeks. Eight round this table and some massive faces here in East London. Gamble hats are on. I already knew that when I saw Williamson's got the straddle. He, he refunded the 500 just for good measure. Can we can thank Tony G for that pizza. <laughs> it tastes like bread, like He's soaked in water. Hold on, yeah. 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 That's yeah. his best recipe. Yeah. Cool. Can you just see him in the picture? Class. No penny on. <laughs> Trust me, next time we film this or next time we're here just playing as friends, Domino's will stay open for us. <laughs> I got a feeling. Class. I raise. Uh oh, much. Raise. Hey, Sammy. Mm. Not too much. I haven't looked yet. Oh, that's a lot. Now I have to have a real hand. Channing's played this deceptively. and Is he going to be the victim of his own deception? Jamie, all right. It's big Sometimes this happened when uh, you play things slow and then someone shows strength behind you. Just so I already called 400. Yeah. Now I got, all I got to call is 2,000 more. This is horrible. Mm. So well, this, this game oh, buddy Simon? Yeah. <laughs> Long as Simon's in a pot, I mean. I got it for it. Oh. Now, it's your fault. It's your fault for calling. Nobody knows where they're at, do they? I knew I made a decision. No, I mean, I Jamie probably knows he's behind. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry I forced you to, to bust yourself. Really wow. Flop for one. I better check this flop. Check. And yet, how big a bet can he call? Thousand. 1,000? You hit your ace, too. How can you bet 1,000 into seven? It's a weird bet. Where's that water? I don't want any more drinks. That's me. Can I have a second? Can I have some? Thank you. I need to think about this. This is tough. This is tough. <coughs> can I get another water? <laughs> <laughs> oh, choke me up now. <laughs> what happened to all the beer? <coughs> Yeah. Have a guess. Uh, <laughs> drink <laughs> all of it. <laughs> huh? Well, you have to think about it. You obviously have these cans. Let's play it out. I'll oh. let you some more. No problem. Cool. Only that is encouragement. I need some more courage, though. I can use some more water, please. It's OK. You, you talk about Jamie's poker brain. Jamie's. What does this I'll bet mean? It could get worse. <laughs> I need something else. I got the sniffles. Sniffly, whiffly, we do do. How's that work? We got a smile just for you. Yeah. He thinks that if, you know, he may get cooled down by a pair by a jack. No, I don't want no more of that last uh, no, no, no. dose. He suspects of someone of having the ace. Can Williamson have an ace here? Yes. Uh, I don't see why not. Three dice. Yeah, yeah. We, we, whenever the time they open, we need some more pizza. <laughs> I feel really bad already. I already mm. opened up my, my nice friend's cantina. Oh, your ace king is killing me now. <laughs> ace king good! Score! Check. Check. How do you like them apples? <laughs> Get a little money out of me. No, if I had it, I would. Mm -hmm. And I will. And I will. And I will. Well, now you got it. I shouldn't see when I have it. 4,000. Jesus. 100,000? I had you on the channel, too. 4,000. I did. 100%. Like are, you you, are you kidding? 100% had you on the Yeah. Hold on. I'm hold on. Before it calls last bet, I'll make a side bet if I had you on the turn. Uh, that you had me on the turn, I bet everything. Wow. Maybe I had better than <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that yeah, means, but I got to say, I like it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> No, he wasn't raising me. He was just calling. He, he, yeah, can't, he can't raise, cause just in case I had the ace king or something. Something crazy. I'm like such that. a bad player. Or quite aces. If I was a good player, you I'd raise. I'd, I'd, no. Oh. If I was a good player, I would have uh, bet you like something crazy on the turn. Going good. Yeah. Sorry. I told you I was running. Cool. Jamie's oh, Jamie's so putting cool. him to the test here. It's, it's not an easy call. Jamie has, has represented horrible, everything yeah. there that beats horrible. him. Horrible. Like, how did he not bet the turn? Like, maybe Ace Jack. <laughs> Wouldn't that be pretty sick? That would be a crazy hand. That would be pretty sick. You have I mean, like Jack, the you sickest. Obviously, you obviously have to call. God, no. I love the way he's talking. Everybody else lay has down. To. You better show it face up if you lay down Ace Jack. <laughs> oh, even more torture. 
On the other hand, earlier, nobody believed until... Oh, man, I've got a freaking cold all of a sudden, my damn wife. I can't do this sober. Where's that beer? As it's <laughs> Jamie, you have to call. I mean, you know Jamie's capable of these bluffs. <laughs> this is horrible. What are the chances I have, I have a Ace horrible King? decision to make here. What are the chances I could it's possibly horrible. have that beer? I mean, I, I like all these At the same time, if you play it King. back, Roland, I mean... He did re-raise 2,000 before the flop. He's didn't represented he? the hand. I mean, just change the color of one of those cards. It's magnificent, isn't it? You're not really going to fold, are you? Probably not. What's in the pot? It's Can cold. you spread it out? You don't have to tell me to spread out. Jamie is always telling oh, the guy what one, to do. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, man. I'll tell you what. You don't want to call, but you should call. <laughs> I'll that was. The camera movement over there. Oh my you God! Don't, you don't want to call. Am I getting a should, rebate? But you should. Can I get a rebate? You want to call for, for three? Oh Jesus! <laughs> but he was willing to let the three lay. Oh man, I'm so sick. I'm so sick. I'm so sick. So you know, minimum, I've got a straight or a full house. You obviously have an ace. It's all right. Just. Oh, this is so fucking. You make a call with a straight, then I don't feel bad. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's done it! And Tony says, Wee. That's a world That's champion! A what a brilliant play by Oh, the world. God! I'm better than that. How the hell did I fold that hand? Did don't Jamie tell me show? I don't no, want to know. But, but, but Robert's going after the, he, he's gonna have He's going to have an attack of the runs in about two seconds. No, nobody showed him. Oh, my. I showed. Jamie well, played so well there. He I talked showed. himself. Into winning the hand that he was losing a nine thousand dollar pot. Eight, seven, that was brilliant play <laughs> by Jamie sick. Gold. You know he's he's he you know ha called with the straight, saying the straight's no good, and you know. I can't remember what was out there. Tell me what was out there. I'll tell you what. Hey, can can, can anybody learn game anything from that, or is, is that just? I mean, is, is that he did. You have to have it. Was, to was, there, two, was there two diamonds? <laughs> yeah. That I had Who a straight could be that strong? quick. That's great, but that's a straight draw. On the river, you made a straight draw. No, on the turn. So I made a straight. I think, if I remember correctly, I had a straight oh. on the turn and checked it. <laughs> and it had a straight flush, a royal flush draw. How strong is that? Pass. It's pretty strong. It goes, it goes blank on the river. Who gets Pass. the dough? You know. Raise <laughs> to 300. Oh, that's not very nice. Pass. Sorry. Oh, my. I like Jamie Gold's chances this in this one. game right now. I'm more chippy, I don't blame him because I want a few more years. He could have them on him. Uh, yeah, I saw his, how easy Yeah, Jamie's come here. He's oh, livening yeah. things up. You have to say, well played. I mean, he's not the complete player, oh. but that was he has flashes, flashes of brilliance, oh. which uh, as a fellow poker I feel, player, I, feel like I can I can recognize. You know, I, I really think that, yeah, right. that's great. Poker <laughs> instincts. This is going to be you so know, you, so you can there like sit there grinding your way and just waiting for the big hands. But real poker players can play real poker. Oh. And that, that's what Jamie Gold did. And I can't say. If some Garfunkel hand right, I'm flops out there, all of a sudden I push hand, it all really, in. I mean, well, very, very well played. That's all I got to say. Fire beware. High praise and Fire beware. Listen, they can put all the warning labels on if they want, but fire beware. That's just a semi Garfunkel. And uh, that's not like a crappy flop. Is it a rainbow? <laughs> so I make sure know, this is rainbow. an instance where, like, I might be sued. Williams is not be running suited. out to find out how he did because I think he's scared to find out the answer. Yeah, I think I think he may have an. I, I just don't know. I mean, I don't know either. I'm pretty sure. Just a, a piece of them. Thank you. Pass. Thanks. Poker, you know, has a funny way of Pass. you play a few good hands All right. and then Time to do someone comes along and pulls a great move off. on you. Just when you feel like your Superman Call. alone comes Kryptonite. I think I am, but I can count very good. Is that a check? Check. I was coming in. I know. I was coming in. I know, but you were asking. Well, and we just got the call. Yeah, he'll yeah. be there. 26 I one person uh, this is an interesting that spot here for Feldman. I appreciate it. <laughs> has he checked to <coughs> induce yeah, a bluff? Sorry, sorry. Has he, he checked because check. he thinks he's behind? <coughs> has he just checked to hope yeah, that it was going to get checked behind him? 
th th this is the first big bluff Neil has made tonight. It's been about six hours. Has he timed it well? And I mean, Feldman's been watching in the green room. He'll be well aware of. of he's timed it well. I think he's very bluffable. This kid. He's, 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 he's a very solid player, but I think that he plays on the tight side. And I want he's thinking about it so long, so long. All those facial expressions, you know that you've got it. You know you've got it once. Yeah, there's Neil Channing. He sat like a lump on a log. For oh, but uh, it's all right to bluff once in a hundred years if you pick it out at the right time and win every time you do it. Yeah, this game's looking pretty good. I'm gonna try and get in it. <laughs> Well, they've come in and out the door. Biggest winners of the night so far. No one's come close to Tony G, the G-Man. $74,000 ahead. Townsend took a breather on 30K. And RW3 still playing and closing in. Phil Curtis, Todd Brunson, Thomas Beal, they all made nice wins. And Channing, you know, eight grand ain't enough for him. He'll be here till the cows come home. Somebody has to pay the food and water bill. Tonight it's been Casey Thompson and the Devilfish. We may never see the front of the Devilfish again. $60,000. I could have taken his hair off. Rolling the Wolf down 35000 And how about Jamie Gold on the comeback trail and trying to get even? Brindley gone with the buy-in. And Feldman, just a peanut down so far. Will Robert Williams have my money the more he drinks? Will Jamie Gold recoup the dent to his wallet? Will Channing be able to cover his rent? What will happen when Roland ditches his Chinese poker game and heads back to the table? Make sure you're here next time. <laughs>